Alright, hey guys, this is uh, just a video on my uh, tackle box. Um, my stickworm box, it's got most of my stickworms. I do have a few more over there in my dresser drawer. Here, I'll show you really quick. Um, if you would watch my Yum Dinger purchase video, I have a ton of these um, dingers just all over in here finesse worms, whatnot, just bait kind of trick worms, these are good for wacky rigging, but yeah, got some right there in my uh, worms tackle box, Got I think uh, I got one pack in there, and just, I don't know, just randomly you'll find them, but uh, this is mainly my box that I get, or use, um, it used to be a Bass Pro Shop sticker kit, I ripped the sticker off, and um, uh, I don't know, um, these three compartments right here are actually the Bass Pro Shop Sticko brand, so I'll start with them. Um, just one tip for you guys, if you guys are t uh, fishing in really dark, almost black stained water, this bumblebee color is awesome. The yellow really, a lot of people take yellow for granted. It's actually a really good smallmouth color. Um, so, you know, this color is really awesome for in really dark water. Uh, just a black color. This is one of my favorites for, like, when it's cloudy out. It's like black and neon with a gold fleck in it, too. It's pretty awesome bait. Um, these Bass Pro Shops worms are really durable, and they're pretty awesome. They're really, they're really heavy, so they sink fast, which is what I like. Um, got a lot of action, side-to-side -side wobble action, which is really good. Um... They got a lot of awesome color patterns. Like that was green pumpkin and like silver swirl. This is like um, green pumpkin and watermelon swirl. And uh, this got awesome color patterns. This one right here is one of my favorite colors too. It's like pumpkin. I don't know if this is actually a color, but it's like a pumpkin and it's got pretty much every color in the color spectrum. It's got green, orange, red, blue, um, yellow, it's got a little bit of yellow in there, but yeah, it's, it's a great Bass Pro Shops Worms, probably the best stick bait you can get for the money, it's like 18 for, I don't know, like 4 or 5 dollars, but uh, these Strike King Shimmy Sticks, these are one of my favorites too, um, they're really cheap, they smell like anise, and they're great baits, a lot of people think that they suck, just because they're cheap, but actually they're awesome, they're really, they're really soft, really salty, and um, yeah, they're just, they're awesome baits. Watermelon red. This is my favorite color. I love this color. It's smoky shad color. Really, really good for imitating the shad. Really bright day. You can use this in clear water. Just watch the white. If you see the white disappear, or start moving to the side, set the hook. And, uh, yeah, I love my Strike King shimmy sticks. Um, last but not least, we got the Yum Dinger. Um, it's one of my favorite. It's not my favorite, but it is a good bait. Um, Usually I wacky rig these. If I if I do Texas rig, I will use the Bass Pro Shops just because it's heavier and that way the hook won't make it nose dive. Because if your bait's too light, your bait will just nose dive. You want it to still wobble down. That's why wacky rig is so good. But um, yep, Yum Dingers. This is a this is probably the best color or one of the best for smallmouth. It's just pumpkin with. Uh, chartreuse tip, you can get the green pumpkin, or the, I don't know if they make watermelon with the chartreuse tip, but, uh, this is a great color, and, um, four inch stingers, um, a lot of people use these, I really don't use them that often, unless, you know, I'm not getting bit at all with the five inch, I'll downsize, I've had it, I've had days where you get one little bite on a five inch in an hour, you downsize to the four inch, and you'll catch ten or twelve in five minutes, um, just because usually I don't use them for big fish. Usually I just use them if I'm bored and I just want to catch a fish. Um, Mardi Gras color, it's an awesome color, probably one of my favorites. Purple and gold, um, great bait. Um, used up most of them. You get 12 in a pack, which is really good. Especially if you use it with like, here, it's like O-rings or whatever. My wacky tool is in a different tackle box, but really you guys should invest in an old wacky tool really good bait, can save you a lot of money, and uh, then for the hooks I use for it, 
So let's see. I think I knocked it on the floor. But uh, um, Gamagatsu makes a finesse wide gap hook. You can also use um, an octopus hook. Octopus hook right here. It's a good hook. But the finesse wide gap is probably the best to use. Um, you're going to want to use, usually I use mine on floral carbon line just because it makes the bait sink faster. But uh, yeah, just use it on floral. Sweet, you know, use it on a spinning reel, stuff like that. Just killing the fish with uh with the stick bait. So yeah, that's my stick bait box right there. So thanks for watching.